Anacondas are the biggest snakes that exist in the world. They are very heavy snakes. They can measure up to 12 meters in length. With that, we can immediately say that this snake is very scary and can even hurt us in the best way of the hypotheses. However, being attacked by these snakes is not at all pleasant, because their way of catching their prey is very cruel. They squeeze it to asphyxiate and soon after devour them. So can you imagine being attacked by one of them? Today we will show people who live through this terror, ready? So without further ado, let's go! Boy in Anaconda Have you ever felt like taking an afternoon to fish? Standing there watching the sunset in your little boat, it doesn't look beautiful is it really? Unfortunately for Guillermo he didn't go, Guillermo was attacked by an anaconda in the Rio Grande do Sul, in the Texera River to be exact. He and his brother went out to fish on a Sunday afternoon, already in the river, the brother of Guillermo tripped and fell into the water, Guillermo in turn stretched out his hand to save his brother, but the one who took his hand was an anaconda that soon began to pull Guillermo into the water, and went, deeper, and further bottom line, Guillermo's yes. brother was soon saved by an adult before the snake caught him, but unfortunately Guillermo wasn't so lucky. Three seconds were enough for the snake to wrap itself around him and take him to the bottom of the river. Guillermo was not found until Monday afternoon. The next day, he was found still at the bottom of the river and already lifeless and the snake was never seen again. Authorities advised people not to go near the river as a precaution. The autopsy showed that Guillermo had almost all of his bones broken and lost his life asphyxiated. Bitten in the hand. Anacondas are snakes that like to stay in their corner, without bothering anyone, that's right. Even though they are so dangerous they really like to stay in their corner. But if you re-going to provoke her, you certainly are and you will like her answer, of that you can be sure. These guys in this video can agree very well with this, because the video was filmed in an attempt to catch an anaconda right in its corner. Well who didn't like this idea very much was the snake, because the guys got it wrong, see. The man pulls the snake by the tail, the snake slips but he didn't give up and went closer to catch the snake, and then the snake hit his hand hard that hurt a lot, now you might be like it was just a bite well, just so you know, a bite from an anaconda is quite capable of breaking bones, even if it doesn't, it will certainly cause serious problems. Well, but that wasn't the only guy that was bitten by an anaconda, this other one was also bitten after trying to catch an anaconda in a river to show its size. The snake that measured more than 4 meters tried to escape from these men. When they chased it and caught it the snake slipped and took the hand of one of the men, then the worse happened, because it was very difficult to take the man's hand from. The snake's mouth, as we said, this snake has a very strong bite, capable of breaking bones. But after several attempts they managed to get it out, I hope it did end hurt badly. Almost devoured. Do you remember Austin Stevens? Right, we talked about him in one of our videos, where Steven survived two highly lethal snake bites. The video link is in the description. This time Steven survived the attack of a large anaconda in the middle of a river in the Amazon rainforest. Stevens is a wild animal photographer, and this time he saw an anaconda in the middle of the river and soon wanted to photograph it. He entered the river and already in the middle of the river the snake disappeared, and when Stevens noticed the Snake had already bitten his leg and started to wrap itself around him, then the animal caught it, Stevens got into a fight with the snake, the fight was intense and lasted about 30 minutes, but Stevens managed to get out of there alive and with the snake in his hand to photograph she has to have a lot of courage to do that. Reporter attacked. Another one that fell into the teeth of an anaconda was this reporter who went to learn more about the anacondas in the swamp, but it seems he learned even too much.
Yeah, he was bitten on the arm by the anaconda, see, the reporter learned to catch the snake, so far so good, he took her and let go. But then he got smart and went to get the snake alone and the snake took his arm, in the video we see him writhing in pain because the bite is strong, when the men around try to save him, it only makes the situation worse because the snake bit more and more, the reporter even asks them not to touch the snake, but it was impossible since they had to get the snake out of there or the worst would happen, so they kept trying to get the snake out and the man screaming and screaming a lot of pain. The more the snake was moved the bite became stronger, but after so much effort it released and the man managed to take his arm, but it was broken and very red. Night attack. This attack will probably make you start thinking a lot before leaving the house at night. This video unfortunately shows a man lying on the ground and not moving. When the camera zooms and a terrible image appears, an anaconda wrapped around his neck. Like we said anacondas can take someone's life in the blink of an eye, with a simple bite or with a very strong squeeze until they break their bones or stop their breathing. In this case this snake squeezed the victim's neck until asphyxiating it. Well we do not know how this happened, but it is worth noting that when leaving the house at night, it is better to watch where you step or you could be a victim of an anaconda.